Hello, this is Mrs. Coffee. Today we're going to do an experiment called Mitten Insulator Experiment. There is a CAMI lab report that goes with the experiment, so you will need to make sure that you have pulled this up, or you can choose to record a Flipgrid with your response about the experiment. So our question for today is, do mittens make heat or do they hold heat in? So this is our mitten, and our experiment is going to be um, does this mitten give off its own heat or do I need to put it on in order for the temperature to rise? Okay, so that's what I want you to think about. <clears throat> so I made a prediction or a hypothesis and I want you to write your own. Remember, sometimes I put ones that are correct and ones that are not correct other times. So you need to think for yourself instead of just writing mine. So I put, if I put my hand inside of a mitten, I think the mitten will heat my hand because my hand feels warm when it's inside the mitten. Is that what you think or do you think something else? So go ahead and write your prediction. And then we're gonna gather our materials. So we need a mitten, which is actually a glove, a winter glove. And then we need a stopwatch or a timer and a thermometer. I am using the Vernier GoTemp probe it's a thermometer probe and it connects to my Chromebook and graphs the data and records it on a data table. So that is what I am using for this experiment today. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is record the air temperature that's in the room. So right now you can see the thermometer probe is not touching anything in the room. It's just out there in the open. So this is the temperature we're going to be recording on our data table in our graph. So I'm going to press this collect button and let it collect the data for 30 seconds. So you can see this is the time going up here and then this is the temperature in Celsius on the right. So here is our graph. It is a straight line. So the mitten by itself is going to be the next thing we're going to do. But right now we're just checking the air temperature. So it's pretty steady. Let's see, we're almost at 30 seconds. Okay, it's been 30 seconds, so we're gonna check the temperature. So after 30 seconds, the temperature was 19.1 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna record that on our data table. show you where it goes. 19.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, it goes right here where it says room temperature. Okay, and next we're going to, oh, I thought I said it was going to be the empty mitten, but we're actually going to do the open hand next. Okay, so this is going to be just my open hand with nothing in it. I don't have the mitten on my hand. Set up my camera so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm just gonna lay the temperature probe in my hand and then I'm going to collect the data. So I will show you what that looks like. All right, we're doing data set two on the computer right now. And you can see that the temperature is going up if you look at the graph. So my hands are pretty warm. It's about 20 seconds in. In 30 seconds we're going to look at our data table for set two which is on the side right here so at 30 seconds if I go over my temperature was 24.9 degrees so I am going to record that on our data chart 24.9 now I just noticed something I forgot to do what I meant to do was record a prediction first, and we're gonna go ahead and write those predictions now. What do you think the open hand's gonna be? We already know it's gonna be higher than the room temperature, but I'm just gonna write 
I think it was going to go up to 22. And then the empty mitten, I think, is going to warm that temperature even more. So I think it's going to be 25. And then the open hand in the mitten, I think, is going to be 23. So record your predictions on the data table, and then we will go ahead and check the data for real. All right, so next I'm going to check the temperature of the mitten with nothing in it. So I'm going to put the probe inside of the mitten, and then I'm going to collect the data. Sorry about my finger in the way there. So we're going to collect the data for 30 seconds, just like we did last time. So you should have predicted for the empty mitten what the temperature is going to be after 30 seconds. All right, it's been about 25 seconds. We're almost there. Okay, it's been 30 seconds, so let's look at our data table here. This is 30, and the temperature is 22 degrees. So we're going to record that on our data table. Now, so far, my open hand I thought was going to be 22, and it was 24. And so my prediction was too low. <clears throat> And for the empty mitten, my prediction was it was going to be 25 degrees, and the actual temperature was too high. Now we're going to do the open hand in the mitten. So this is going to be different. So this time, I'm going to put the mitten on my hand, just like you would in the winter. And I'm going to put the thermometer probe inside the mitten with my hand open. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and collect the data for this one. So I'm going to start the graph over again and then we'll check the temperatures. You can see right away that graph is going up. The line is definitely moving up. Seconds. So let's look at our data table. Okay, so we're looking at 30 seconds here, and it was 32.6 after 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to close that. So this is our complete data table. So the temperature that was highest in this data table was when the open hand was in the mitten. It was 32.6, which is by far the highest temperature. So what that shows us is that the empty mitten by itself was the coldest temperature. So it did not create its own heat, the empty mitten. What it did was it trapped my body heat so that it did not escape out into the rest of the air that's colder. So our temperature for the air was 19.1. So you know that that's a colder temperature than this. So heat always transfers from hot to cold. So we can tell that in all of these cases, um, these were warmer temperatures than the air temperature. But this one trapped the heat from my hand the best. So what are the results of the experiment? What did we find out? We found out, I'm going to write this and then I'll put it up on the screen. That the warmest temperature was in the open hand with the mitten on it. Mid 
kitten is an insulator. And it trapped my body heat. It did not make its own heat. Now, I'm going to put this so you can see it, and you can write that yourself. And then the last part of our experiment is to write a conclusion. So then you're going to analyze the data table and figure out whether your prediction was right or if it was wrong and why. So I wrote that my hypothesis was incorrect, so I was trying to trick you this time, because a mitten traps the heat from your body. It does not make its own heat. So this is what the experiment was about, is that an insulator traps or slows the transfer of thermal energy. It does not make its own heat. It's not a heat source. It just traps the transfer of thermal energy so it does not escape out into the rest of the air. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Bye.